Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to replace my GPU that is Power Color Red Devil RX 580. So here I have my GPU here. So we are going to open up the cooler and clean up the thermal paste inside on the GPU and then we replace it with a new one. So previously I re re removed my backpack but I will show you how to attach it back later on. Let's get started. We have four screws here that we need to remove. These are directly in contact with the GPU chip. And these screws has a distinctive character because they have springs on them. Yeah. Then we have two more here that you need to remove. All of these uh, screws with this spring, I mean their holes have some kind of a black stickers on them as you can see here. So it's fairly easy to recognize. We should be able to detach our GPU here. Not that the thermal paste is a bit sticky, so it will take some force to pull them apart. But do not pull it too hard because there are two fan. I mean, there's two connectors on the board that you need to detach. So, right, and another one here. All right. So let's set this aside first. This is the residual uh, the thermal paste that has hardened. We will remove this later on. So here is the naked GPU. So what I recommend is try not to put it on directly on table. I would recommend putting a box on the table then set your GPU on it. So. As you can see, this thermal paste sort of has hardened up and we are going to clean it up. My suggestion is to uh, use a tissue and like 70% uh, ethyl alcohol to try and clean out this thermal paste. Do it slowly so that you don't damage your GPU chip. Try your best to clean out the side thermal paste. Yeah, those spots are a bit hard to reach, but just slowly take your time and you'll clean them all. Yeah, but make sure you don't apply too much force. Well, I guess that will do. I just try not to damage those chips. Okay. Well. Yeah. I mean, I could have done a better job, but uh, I mean, my point is to get the surface clean. Right? So, now we will move on to the heat sink. So, do the same with the GPU chip. You just apply some ethyl alcohol 
and wipe it away with the uh, tissue. Now this part is very easy because you don't need to be as delicate as when you are cleaning your GPU chip. So, yep, it came off easily. Alright, so, oh, sorry. Now let's get back to our GPU. Now we are going to apply some thermal paste back onto the GPU chip. So what I what I have here is an Arctic MX4 thermal compound. This is a very fairly good thermal compound. And what we'll do now is to apply a tiny bit of thermal paste on it yeah yep about this size uh, maybe a bit too much but this will do this will definitely uh, be enough to cover the GPU we install our back pad so so we try to align the holes. And okay. So these screws came with a brake cover on the top of the screw. As you can see here, yep. these are for protection. So there's about 11 of them that you need to screw in. So let's begin. Okay, let's go. So we may try to follow the zigzag pattern first. Just align the holes. So for this one, this hole, it will actually lock in the bracket as well as you can see here. So when you 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 will need to push the PCIe bracket so that the hole align and then you start screwing. Follow the X pattern. Last school. Alright, we're done. So we have secured our back plate on. So now it's the time to uh, to try to put, I mean, to try to place the GPU cooler back onto the chip. So this, I will consider this as the hardest point because you will need to align the GPU chip with it with the heat sink. So, but before that, we will need to connect these connectors first. So, uh, as you can see, our fan one one connector is here, and the other one is here. <coughs> so, as you can see, this is a two pin one. So, we'll connect this two pin first.
Here we are, and then we can come to this second one. So, you might not be able to see it, but you get my point. Alright, so both of them are connected now. So, you, may, you wanna tuck this cable back in so that it's nicer, I mean, it's tighter. And now you can try to gently set the GPU down and try to match the screw holes. So Yep. So we have managed to align the screw holes. So next step is to screw back. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the screw holes that you will need to screw with those screws with the spring on them. So same like same like just now, we will use the cross pattern. the last one so what we can do now is to slowly tighten up all the screws so that we apply equal pressure on all sides and so that the heat I mean the thermal paste uh, spread equally so yeah just slowly tighten up follow the X pattern until you feel it's tight enough All right, here we go. We have finished repasting our GPU, and uh, we are going to test the temperatures. So before I replace the thermal paste, I have already done a recording of a gameplay to record the temperature, and I will repeat the game with this newly replaced uh, GPU, so we can see the difference in the temperature drop. All right. Sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. The situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Page two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier. Whoa, looks like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst, and stay sharp. Let's go. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. They're way overhead. Let's go introduce ourselves. Harbor fuel storage is intact. It's asking for another round. All escorts form up for another attack. Point is 835. Watch out for the support aircraft. Target hit. 
Target confirmed down. Mage 2. Mage 2. Target's in range. Parabombers. Stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. See that the GPU is definitely cooler now by about two to five Celsius after replacing the thermal paste, and notice that the GPU fan is also much slower now by about five hundred RPM, so it's also quieter. We can say that the thermal replace thermal paste replacement was a success. So that is all for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.